so you're here. Most probably you're watching this because you have a desire to finally start going to the gym and stop delaying this dream of achieving a fine looking body. Like you finally want to get in shape. Like bro, come on, you've been putting it off for too long now. You are tired of being weak, you are tired, you keep making those bullshit ass excuses, you're tired of not feeling proud of yourself whenever you look in a mirror like right before you go uh, and take a shower you just glance at yourself in the mirror, you don't really feel good about yourself. And it's good that you're here because we will fix it right here together right now. <laughs> If you're very very new to working out and you're not yet sure of what to even begin with, I'd advise you to not go to the gym. Now just before you go all crazy like, what do you mean not go to the gym? That's my goal bro. Just hold on. I know many dudes that are like, you know, I'd love to go to the gym and make some progress in my physique but I'm just kind of insecure and I don't want other people to look at me. Like what am I even going to do once I get there? Like I don't know any exercises. I'm afraid I'll embarrass myself in front of everyone and i mean i totally get it bro literally the first time i went for my like first to buy my first gym membership i had to go there with my dad because i was so stressed i literally asked my dad if he could go with me because i was so like stressed and i don't even remember the exact reason it just seemed like such a new scary thing to do you know before that i was just working out at home feeling comfortable just locking myself up in my room training in my boxers listening to my favorite favorite music on this little speaker <laughs> But once shit got real and the weights at my home started to feel too light for me, I knew that in order to level up I have to leave the comfort of my home and touch some real iron at the gym. Like I just had to leave those plastic little dumbbells and finally get seriously into working out. You know what's pretty funny? Now the gym feels like my safe space. The atmosphere, the people I speak to, like I literally made so many friends there. I just go there, I feel good, I smile, I... I just speak to others feeling good, right? All whilst listening to some fire ass music and making some good progress to my goals. It feels great to be in a such positive environment. And that's exactly what I would like you to go through and experience. It's a beautiful life to live, you know, just making progress and feeling good about yourself for once in your lifetime. When you make such great progress in something that is so important to you, you just become the, like literally the happiest man in the world. But to get there. First you have to build the foundation, the stuff that actually matters, the stuff that will set you up for success later on. The basics, right? Don't worry, you will think about the perfect workout plan or the perfect diet, like nutritional plan later on. Now you can go to the gym just like that if you have the balls to do that. Bro, I certainly did not have the balls to do that. If you're not afraid to just go out there, then that's amazing, bro, do that. I highly encourage you to do it. But for my fellow quite insecure, like, what am I going to do once I get there? People, what I'd recommend for now, for the first one or two years, train at home, bro. Now, if you just scroll down to this video description, you will find the exact equipment I used to use for, like, the first two years of my gym journey. Not even gym journey, bro. I was working out at home. I have, like, an Amazon shopping list. You can check that out if you want to. So, with only, like, this very minimalistic equipment, or even no equipment, the only, like, stuff that I bought are completely essential like the dumbbells or the pull-up bar. Even if you are a complete like a complete gym newbie you don't even need any equipment to be honest bro you can literally just hit a few push-ups and squats every single day. You can literally just train four times a week and make your workout sessions consist of I don't know a hundred push-ups and 200 squats and if you are quite new to working out that would take you like a bit more than half an hour which is literally a full workout. Always keep it in mind that it is best to just stick to the basics. Now if you want a more in-depth guide on just exercise and dieting and rest and all of that stuff that you will need to learn about if you are a newbie then you can watch a video called how to get jacked as a teen. It's my current most popular video. But for the key stuff right? You want to progress the more you go. Make each workout harder than the last one. The key to becoming better is to constantly self-analyze and push yourself. Also known 
as progressive overload. These two things, self-analyzing very often and pushing yourself through the barrier of discomfort. If I'd let's say just keep posting videos to my YouTube channel and not self-analyze at all and just do the exact same shit over and over and over and over again but expecting shit to change, expecting different results, it's stupid. In order to grow, you have to look at what you've already done and improve it to make it even better once you're going to do it the next time. So you analyze and from this analyzing, you change, you adapt. I try to improve my content with each and every video I post. In this video, my goal was to speak clearer and without any longer pauses. In the next video, I will try to make my editing better or the lighting better, anything. Improving anything, just one thing at a time. If I look at my physique and my chest is lacking, what I will do is I will analyze my current workout plan, my current workout split and see if there are any inaccuracies. Once I find something that is not the most optimal right now because I want a bigger chest, let's say I will put a different exercise here or I will do more sets here. I adapt in order to change my chest, in order to build a bigger chest. So first, self-analyze and adapt every single time you're doing the thing. Second was push yourself because if you truly don't test your limits, how are you going to know what your limit is? How am I? even going to know if I'm training hard enough if I don't know what training hard is. That's why I test myself every single time I train. I always look if I can or cannot hit the last few reps on shoulder press. Every single time I train, I make myself go through even more and more through the barrier of discomfort. Sometimes I even do more than I planned on doing just to check myself. Am I making progress or am I being a little bitch? It is important to always and always test your limits. Test yourself. If you don't constantly test yourself and you adapt and you change, you won't make any significant progress, not only in fitness, but in any other thing that you want to do. I'm getting a bit motivational out here because this video is like strictly for people that just keep making those bullshit excuses and delay going to the gym because they're a bit lazy. If I manage to motivate you, then you can write it in the comments. So again, to become great at anything that you want to do, self-analyze and work hard. Really push yourself in order to change and to adapt. But now, because like bro, for the past five minutes I've been just speaking on like kind of unpractical stuff, like this mindset stuff. Now let's speak on like very practical, exact steps that you will have to take. What I want you to do now, literally now, go on your computer or your phone or just anything that you're watching on and search for a very basic workout plan that will be very easy to stick to and to follow for for the next year or so. Just search, I don't know how many times you want to work out in a week, let's say five times. You search five times a week workout split and you just choose one. You're going to worry about the exercises that you're going to do later. Either way, you're going to find out what you're gonna work on. And believe me, it's not that complicated. It just takes some practice. And also never forget to actually include some cardio here and there like running or swimming. Once my new camera arrives, I'm very sure that I will record a video on my current workout split if you're interested in that. The next thing I want you to do is eat a high protein diet. What I'd recommend is literally just eat like a caveman or at least like people would normally eat back then. Eat the stuff your ancestors, your great 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 grandfather would eat. So meat, eggs, fish, some fruits, some veggies, nuts and that's literally it. Maybe sometimes rice if you were lucky enough to live in Asia or something. That's naturally what humans were supposed to eat. Cereal or pancakes or any other carbs bullshit food is not on that list because back then there was no industrial revolution shit or some you know the capitalization of the food industry and stuff where people would literally just put tons of sugars into a soda to make it taste good and to sell it to as many people as possible people ate what they could grow or kill straight up there was no processed foods no seed oils no high fructose fucking sugar syrup no added sweeteners just pure food in its purest most natural 
natural form and people were the healthiest they've ever been in history but somehow we managed to fuck this up. Now those two things, train hard and eat right, will set you up for a lifetime. And it's so simple like, bro you don't have to overcomplicate fitness and diet. I don't think you even have any excuses left because I literally took all of them from you. And I'm telling you, if you don't start now, you will regret it later. That's why I always tell you to stay abnormal. <laughs>